Good morning, super short print car brakes was up there. That's right, Kevin, you made it in second. I think Jonathan popped in here about about five minutes ago. Sorry, I gotta adjust my volumes here. There we go. All right, I think I got everything set up now. So yeah, Jonathan's in here, Kevin's in here, I'm in here. And uh, in just a, a minute or two here, I'll turn the camera around. So this is gonna be my, uh, I'm gonna label this as a uh, National Day of Baseball Week from the Blom Doll House. <laughs> Only because of what supposed, was supposed to take place this coming Thursday. Of course, we'll be having a big celebration on Thursday for uh, what would have been, what would have been opening day. So we'll just wait for a few minutes here at 1030. I'll get into our content at hand. At about 1028, I will turn my camera around and then you guys will see um, everything that we've got there. So yeah, tomorrow will be our Topps Baseball 1983 set. Um, that means next week will be the 1984. I'm looking forward to that one. I'm going to be doing that Topps Baseball card series. Uh, I will use the book for the introduction and the history behind the 1984 next week. But then after that, pretty much, I will be... Uh, showing you the 1984 cards in a different way so hope you guys can see hope you guys seen the title of today's uh baseball players bios video series of course today i am doing alvarez aquino lux and bichette you think oh my word it's going to be a long stream actually their biographies are not that big because they are brand new this is their rookie year this coming year some of them did come in and play during the end of last year uh, on some of the teams. So that didn't necessarily class them as their rookie year last year. But this, this year is their rookie year. So I've hi I'm highlighting the four prominent um, uh, rookie players for this year. And we've got less than a minute. So in honor of the video I am doing today, I have my rated rookie t-shirt on today all right and then on top of that now i probably messed up that there is just a throwback a throwback Marin seattle mariner hat here it's got my little mlb certification sticker on it saying it's an official M major league baseball ball cap um but other than that yes um we will get on here. I'm going to turn the camera around in just a second here. Now that we do have uh, 1028 on the camera. And there you go. We can see. Um, I'm calling today's first stream this week. It's not in the title, but I'm going to probably add it into the description. This will be my, uh, the of course, along with the baseball players' bios for... Uh, Jordan Alvarez, Aristides Aquino, Gavin Lux, and Bo Bichette, okay? And being the, their four rookie cards here, we're going to have a little a little uh, challenge here, or battle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I won't call it the W-A-R. But um, since we have one of those going on in our country right now, with something that's sweeping through the country... Um, so, but yeah, so this is, I have my uh, Topps 2020 Baseball Series 1 Coliseum set up. So the, I'm going to call this my uh, 2020 Baseball Coliseum here. All right. So we do have uh, two blaster boxes here for to Topps 2020 Baseball Series 1. And we've got four, uh, not the real big fat packs, but these are the, the ones that have 16 baseball cards in them. All right, so, and I'll explain a little bit later what we're going to do here. We're going to have kind of like a uh, a challenge royale here. 
And of course, these will be our four players in the challenge. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, Aristide Zacchino, Gavin Lux, and then Bo Bichette. So we do have 1030. And without further ado, we will get in here and start going over their biographies. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do just... So you kind of know this is, and I I have one of these pulled aside here. I'm going to turn that tops 2020 right there because I should get two rookie card medallions and these two blaster boxes. But I can probably put that right here and try and get um, the checklist there. You can kind of see that off to the side. That's the checklist from all the rookie card medallions. And I'll pull mine out real quick, and then I'll get into our biographies. Again, the biographies won't take too long here. But uh, on one of my blaster boxes, um, pretty much what I did was I, I clipped off. Um, I clipped off. That way, if you guys want to see my checklist. So um, pretty much what I've done is... I've done that dark line because I, I somehow Guy Gan Carlo Stanton got checked off, but I don't really have that one. And Albert Pujols, I don't really have that one. And a Bo Jackson. No, that uh, let's see. No, I think it's just the Guy Gan Carlo Stanton. I don't have that one. But what I did was I, I made the longer line so I know which ones I do have. And then if there's a, a minus in between the two, that means I might have two of those. If there's a plus, that means I have three. And if off to the right, there is a long line off to the right. Um, in some instances, the only ones I really have four of are Ichiro and uh, Ken Griffey Jr., but yeah, so all the ones that are unchecked are the ones that I'm still searching for. And I believe there's... Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I have 24, but I believe I have a couple more coming in. So I'm pretty sure I have about half of the rookie card medallion set. So that's what I'm working on right now. And with these two boxes, I hopefully, hopefully I can add two more unless I get some that I already have. But other than that, Camden, Disney, how are you doing? So I've gone a little bit over, but we're going to get into the, the biographies. And again, it's just short biographies for these four players that are here today. So again, this is Tuesday. So this is my baseball players biography series that I'm doing on Tuesdays. So without further ado, I'm going to go over the biographies for the, the four bigger rookies that everybody's trying to collect. And, of course, each team representative, whoever, uh, like uh, Astros, McGee, he likes the, the Astros. He probably knows about Alvarez. Whoever's a Cincinnati Reds fan probably knows a little bit more about uh, Aristides Aquino. And then, of course, the Los Angeles Dodgers with Gavin Lux. And then Bo Bichette with the Toronto Blue Jays. But maybe you might not know some of the facts and interesting information i will share with you so without further ado we're going to start out with Jordan alvarez for our first biography so i'll do kind of like when i do my hall of fames and stuff i'll bring them front and center when i am going over their biography so Jordan alvarez Jordan ruben alvarez was born june 27th 1997 is a Cuban professional baseball first baseman and outfielder for the Houston Astros of Major League Baseball. He defected from Cuba, then established residence in Haiti in 2016 and signed with the Los Angeles Dodgers as an international free agent in 2016. He made his Major League debut on June 9, 2019. 
So as far as his, and pretty much for these shorter biographies, I'm just going to go over their main, their minor and major league career to this point. So that's why these biographies will not be, be very long. Isman70, thanks for popping into the chat here. And I'll keep an eye on the chat so I can keep an eye on things in here. And then Camden, Disney's in the house. All right, so as far as the minor leagues, on in August 2016, Alvarez was traded from the Dodgers to the Houston Astros for Josh Fields. He made his professional debut in 2016 with the Dominican Summer League Astros, where he spent the whole year batting 341 with a 974 OPS in 16 games. He started 2017 with the Quad City City's River Bandits and was promoted to the Blue Creek Astros during the season. In 90 total games between the River Bandits Bandits and Astros, he batted 304, 379, and 481 with 12 home runs and 69 RBIs in 335 at-bats. He played in the 2017 All-Star Futures game. Alvarez was ranked among the top prospects in the minor leagues prior to the 2018 season. He started the 2018 season playing with the Corpus Christi Hooks of the Class A Texas League. Despite being a right-handed thrower, Alvarez was incorrectly listed as a left-handed thrower by many websites prior to 2018 spring training. He split the 2018 season between Corpus Christi and the Fresno Grizzlies of the AAA Pacific Coast League, hitting a combined 293, 369, 534, and a 904 with 63 runs, 20 home runs, and 74 RBIs and 335 at-bats. Alvarez opened the 2019 season with the Round Rock Express of the Pacific Coast League. Prior to his first major league call-up, Alvarez, Alvarez batted 343, 443, and 4, 742 with 50 runs, 38 walks, 23 home runs, 71 RBIs, and an OPS of 1.185 and 213 at-bats with the Round with Round Rock. So then when he did go to the Houston Astros on June 9th, 2019, the Astros selected Alvarez, Alvarez's contract and promoted him to make his major league debut that afternoon versus the Baltimore Orioles. He went one, uh, one out of three with two home run, with a two home run in his debut. The following game, Alvarez again homered, this time versus Matt Albers of the Milwaukee Brewers. He became the first Astro to homer in both of his uh, first two games. Alvarez became the fourth player in Major League Baseball history to hit four home runs in his first five career games when he homered off Clayton Richard of the Toronto Blue Jays, joining Trevor Story Yasiel Puig and Mike Jacobs. On June 23rd, Alvarez hit a two-run home run for his seventh home run of the season in only 12 games, establishing an Astros franchise record. He also became the first player in Major League history to drive in 16 runs in his first 12 games. Aaron with Faith, Family, and Sports. There we go. How are you doing there, Aaron? And then Kendall Brown is in the house. Nice to have you guys with us today. Let's take a poll. Who out of these four do you think will win MVP? Just keep tuned in there, and we'll be getting to some of that in just a minute there, um, Kendall. But thanks for popping that in the chat there. Um, not quite like you're talking about, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do in just a minute when we're done with these four biographies. So on June 23rd, Alvarez hit a two-run home run for his seventh in 12 games, establishing an Astros franchise record. So he won the American League Rookie of the Month award for both June and July. The first Astro to do so after garnering 48 hits, 336 
batting average and 13 doubles, 13 home runs, and 39 RBIs with a 699 slugging percentage and a 1.120 OPS. He also led the major league with a 1.120 OPS since his debut and was second in the American League with a 421 on base percentage, fourth in slugging, sixth in RBI, and seventh in average. Thus, he emerged as a leading contender for the American League Rookie of the Year honors despite his late start to the season. On August 10th, Alvarez hit a grand slam and homered twice more in Camden Yards versus the Orioles in his first three home run game in a 23-2 romp. With a career-high seven runs driven in, his total stood at 51 and established a major league record for the first 45 games. The 23 runs accounted for a franchise record for runs scored in one game. In a homestand at Minute Maid Park, Alvarez drove in six runs on three doubles in a 21-1 romp over the Seattle Mariners on September 8th. The following day, he hit a home run number 23 and 24 in a 15 to nothing win versus the Oakland Athletics to break Carlos Correa's franchise record for rookies, which he set in 2015. In 2019, he batted 313, 412, and 655 with 27 home runs and 75 RBIs and 313 at bats, and was the ninth youngest ball player in the American League. His 655 slugging percentage was the highest in history for a qualified rookie. He was unanimously elected Rookie of the Year. He also hit a two-run homer off Joe Ross in Game 5 of the 2019 World Series. So there we have the short biography of Jordan Alvarez for our prominent 2020 rookies for this upcoming hopeful season if we do get to start it. So next and our second rookie for this video today is Aristides Aquino. I know different people say it different ways, but my wife told me that's how you would say it. Aristides Aquino. And you think, well, your wife's Filipino. Well, they do have a Spanish basis to their language. So yes, Aquino. Some say Aquino, Aquino. That is the Hispanic way of saying that name, Aquino. The Q almost sounds like a K when it gets pronounced that way. Okay? Um, at least that's the way my wife explained it to me. Probably Kevin could probably have his wife, since she's Hispanic also, could maybe probably... Uh, See what his wife might say in that situation. Kendall, I watched your replay, but you weren't live when I thought you would be. Sorry for not being there. Okay. Aquino. Yep. There you go, Kevin. Kevin agrees. He kind of spelled it the way it's supposed to be pronounced. Aquino. I'm saying it correctly. Yeah, I tried <laughs> I tried correcting. Uh, I think uh, Ethan says it a different way, too, and I tried to spell it out and pronounce it out when you type it, but actually the way you just did it, Kevin, works best. So the next one, of course, is Oh, oh wait a minute. What? Um, da, da, da. Okay, wait. There we go. Okay. So the next one is actually shorter than Jordan Alvarez's. Aristides Aquino. Aristides Aquino Nunez is actually his last name, but he likes going as Aristides Aquino. Aquino is his middle name. So that was no doubt his mom's maiden name, the way the Hispanics do it. And then Nunez is his dad's last name. So Aristides Aquino Nunez, born April 22, 1994, is a Dominican professional baseball outfielder for the Cincinnati Reds of Major League Baseball. His nickname is The Punisher. In case you see a nickname card for her, for him, 
<laughs> for her. It, his nickname is The Punisher. So his career at a glance, Aquino signed with the Cincinnati Reds as an international free agent from the Dominican Prospect League in January 2011. He made his professional debut that year with the Dominican Summer League Reds and also spent 2012 playing with them. He played for the Arizona League Reds and the Billings Mustangs in 2013. Billings in 2014 and Billings and the Dayton Dragons in 2015. In 2016, he played for the Daytona Tortugas and was named the Florida State League Player of the Year. The Reds added him to their 40-man roster after the season. Aquino was called up to the majors for the first time on August 17th, 2018 to take the place of Joey Votto, who was placed on the 10-day disabled list. On August 19, 2018, Aquino made his first Major League debut as a pinch runner for Scooter Gannett. Aquino stayed in the game to play in right field and later struck out in his first Major League at-bat facing Ray Black. He was a non-tender he was non-tendered and became a free agent on November 30th, 2018. He re-signed a major league deal on December 3rd, 2018. He opened the 2019 season with the Louisville Bats. On August 1st, the Reds selected Aquino's contract. Aquino hit seven home runs in his first ten major league games, tying the record of Trevor Story. On August 10, 2019, in a game against the Chicago Cubs, Aquino hit three home runs, becoming the first rookie in MLB history to hit a home run in three consecutive innings, and the second rookie after Bobby Estella, Est- Estelella uh, to have three ho- a three-home run game in his first 10 career games. On August 16, 2019, Aquino became the first player in modern MLB history with 10 home runs in his first 16 career games. The next day, he hit his 11th home run in 17 games. He also holds the record for most home runs in a month for a National League rookie at 14. In addition to tying the Reds franchise record for home runs in a month for any player. So there we have it. Aristides Aquino is our second of four rookies for the 2020 season. So next, everybody's heard about this guy too, Gavin Lux for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Gavin Lux is up next to bat. All right. All right, so Gavin Lux. Gavin Thomas Lux, born uh, November 23, 1997, is an American professional baseball shortstop for the Los Angeles Dodgers of Major League Baseball. He played baseball for Indian Trail High School and Academy in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and was selected in the first round of the 2016 Major League Baseball Draft by the Dodgers. He made his Major League debut in September 2019. So his career in Major League Baseball, Lux attended Indian Trail High School and Academy in Kenosha, Wisconsin. He batted 560 for the school in his senior year. He was one of the top 50 high school prospects heading to the 2016 MLB Draft. He won the 2016 Wisconsin Baseball Gatorade Player of the Year Awards and Holy Rosary Sports Knight Male Athlete of the Year and Award of the Year Award in high school. He had committed to the Arizona State University. The Los Angeles Dodgers selected Lux in the first round with the 20th pick overall selection of the 2016 Major League Baseball Draft. Lux signed with the Dodgers for a $2.31 million signing bonus. The Dodgers assigned him to the Arizona League Dodgers to begin his professional career. At the end of the season, he was promoted to the Ogden Raptors of the Pioneer Baseball League. Between the two levels, he played in 56 games, batting 
296, 375, and 399 with 21 RBIs. Lux got a late start on the 2017 season as he dealt with a rib issue in spring training, but he was assigned to the Class A Great Lakes Loons of the Midwest League on April 19th, and he played in 101 games for the Loons, hitting 244, 331, and 362 with seven home runs, 39 RBIs, and 27 stolen bases. He was promoted to the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes and the California League for the 2018 season and was selected to the midseason All Star game. He was promoted to the Tulsa Drillers of the Texas League in August and he was named to the postseason All-Star team with the Ran- with Rancho Cucamonga and was also named the Dodgers Minor League Player of the Year. In 116 games between Rancho Cucamonga and Tulsa, he slashed a 324, 399, and 514 with 15 home runs and 57 RBIs. Lux began 2019 with the Tulsa Drillers. He was selected to the Midseason Texas League All-Star Game and also the All-Star Futures Game. He was promoted to the AAA Oklahoma City Dodgers on June 27th. And then he batted uh, 347, 421, and 607 with 99 runs. Second in the minor leagues, 61 walks. Tied for first in the minors and eight triples, fourth place, 26 home runs, fifth place, and 76 RBIs, seventh place, and 113 combined games in the minors. Lux was selected as selected as Baseball America's Minor League Player of the Year and also named by the Dodgers as their Minor League Player of the Year for the second straight season. Lux was called up by the Dodgers to make his Major League debut at the the starting second baseman as the starting second baseman against the Colorado Rockies on September 2nd, 2019. He singled on the first pitch he saw from Peter Lambert and doubled in his second at bat. He also scored three runs in the game. On September 10th, 2019, Lux hit his first major league home run off Texas off Tanner Scott of the Baltimore Orioles. In 23 games for the Dodgers in 2019, he had 18 hits, 75 at-bats with a 240 average, hit two home runs, and drove in nine RBIs. On October 3rd, in his first at-bat, in his postseason debut, Lux hit a pinch hit solo home run off Hunter Strickland of the Washington Nationals. At 21 years old and 314 days old, Lux became the youngest player all time to hit a pinch hit home run in the postseason. He was also the youngest Dodgers to hit a home run in a postseason game, with that previous record being Cody Bellinger, who homered at the age of 22 years and 88 days. During the 2017 NLDS against the Arizona Diamondbacks. So there we have it, our third out of the four 2020 star rookies. All right, and last but not least, now we have Bo Bichette, Bo Bichette with the with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Rancho Cucamonga, Rancho Cucamonga, Rancho Cucamonga, Rancho Cucamonga, Rancho Cucamonga, Rancho Cucamonga. I don't know, did I say it five times? <laughs> That's about as fast as I can comfortably say it. <laughs> but uh there we go. <laughs> you, you you can tell me how I did there, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so this is our fourth and final um rookie uh superstar out of the 2020 top series one baseball um uh series. So let's go into Bobachette, okay? So Gavin Thomas. No oh, no, not Lux. We already did Lux. Sorry, I gotta change my page here. <laughs> Bo Joseph Bichette. Bo Joseph Bichette is his full first is his full name. Born March 5th, 1998. 1998 is an 
American professional baseball shortstop for the Toronto Blue Jays of Major League Baseball. All right. So in high school, Bichette was homeschooled but competed in baseball for Lakewood High School in St. Petersburg, Florida. As a senior, he batted 569 with 13 home runs and was named the Gatorade USA Flo- Today Florida Player of the Year and Florida's Mr. Baseball. Bichette committed to attend Arizona State University to play college baseball for the Arizona State Sun Devils. So as far as his professional career, the Toronto Blue Jays selected Bichette in the second round with the 66th overall selection. All right, of the 2016 Major League Baseball draft, he stated afterward that he turned down four offers during the draft in order to go to Toronto, and he signed for a $1.1 million dollar bonus on June 17th after opening the season um, with a 341 batting average through 18 games with the Gulf Coast League Blue Jays Bichette was placed on the seven day disabled list after experiencing an injury to his midsection which was later determined to be a ruptured appendix he returned to the lineup shortly before the end of the season and finished the year with a 427 batting average, four home runs, and 36 runs batted in in 22 games. Despite missing more than half of the season with injury, Bichette was named the Gulf Coast League's end-of-season All-Star at shortstop on September 13th. During the offseason, he represented Brazil at the 2017 Baseball Classic Qualifier 4. Bichette was assigned to the Class A Lansing Lugnuts to begin the 2017 season on June 7th. He was named a Midwest League All-Star. To that point in the season, Bichette led the league in batting average. Hits, run scored, slugging percentage, and on-base plus slugging percentage, OPS. Bichette raised his batting average to an even 400 after a 7-for-8 performance in a doubleheader against the South Bend Cubs on June 15th. On June 29th, he was named the US, to the U.S. roster for the 2017 All-Star Futures game. On July 6th, Bichette was named the Midwest League Player of the Month for June. Later that day, the Blue Jays announced he would be promoted to the Advanced A uh, ben, Dunedin Blue Jays after the All-Star Futures Games. Bichette was named the Midwest League's Most Valuable Player MVP Prospect of the Year and a postseason All-Star on August 18th after hitting 384, 448, and 623 with 32 doubles, second in the Midwest League, 10 home runs, 51 RBIs in 70 games for Lansing. For Dunedin, Bichette appeared in 40 games and hit 323 with 4 home runs, 23 RBIs, and 10 stolen bases. His combined 362 batting average led all of minor league baseball and made him the first teenager to lead the minors in hitting since Gil Torres did so in 1963. On October 5th, 2017, MLB named Bichette Toronto's Minor League Hitter of the Year. In 2018, he played for the AA New Hampshire Fisher Cats, appeared in 131 games and batted 286 with 95 runs, leading the Eastern League, 43 doubles leading the season, 7 triples tied for the league lead, 11 home runs, 74 RBIs tied for third, 48 walks, ninth, and 32 stolen bases in second place. Bichette began the 2019 season with the Triple A Buffalo Bisons. On April 22nd, he was hit on the left hand by a pitch and later diagnosed with a broken hand. Okay, so the Toronto Blue Jays on July 29th, 19. 2019, the Blue Jays selected Bichette's contract and promoted him to the major leagues. On that day, he recorded his first major league hit, a single against 
uh, Brad Keller of the Kansas City Royals on the second major league pitch he saw on July 31st. Bichette recorded three hits against the Royals, the second of which was his first Major League Baseball home run. On August 6th, Bichette became the first ever Major League Baseball hit player to hit 10 extra base hits in his first nine major league games with a double against the Tampa Bay Rays. After hitting another double on August 7th, Bichette joined Yadier Molina and Derek Lee as the only players in the live ball era to record a double in eight straight games and broke the Blue Jays franchise record set by Carlos Delgado in 2000. Playing in Toronto for the first time the following day, Bichette extended his double streak to nine games, setting a new MLB record. He also set a new MLB record in extra base hits in his first 11 games of his career with 13. He also he is also the first rookie with nine straight games and eight and well, with extra bases hits since Ted Williams in 1939. He also set fran- the franchise record with 20 hits and 11-game hit streak with a 1.316 OPS during the 11-game span. He finished the season hitting 311 with 11 home runs in 46 games. So there we have it, our fourth and final Star rookie for 2020, going through and highlighting how they came to the majors. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now we get to grip and rip some packs. All right, who do we got here? It looks like we have seven people watching us right now. And I'm going to open up some product here and see what we can find. So this is what I plan to do to make this just a little bit different here. Since I am opening more product than I usually do for my weekly streams here, um, we've got our four star rookies here. Okay, we've got our four star rookies here. So with our four star rookies here, this is what we're going to try and do. I mean, we'll get some other some other types of cards and things that will show up as we go through, but I'll just be setting them off to the sides here, okay? But what we will do is we're going to try and just try something a little bit different I've never done before, but just, just to kind of f- add a fun element into this as we are doing a lot of social distancing these days, okay, is um, I'm going to see how many of these rookies I can f- pull out of these four 16 pack or there's 16 cards in each of these packs here so you got 64 cards in the four packs and then of course you got 99 cards in both of these two here so we'll have right about two hundred and sixty two cards by the time we get done and I want to see how many cards we can pull for each of these these rookies now one little stipulation is it has to be their rookie card because I know like uh, Bo Bichette I can't think of maybe if Jordan's on another card or not I know Bo Bichette is on on two di- on, on a card with another player but it's just mainly we're going for their rookie cards during this challenge that I'm going to do so hopefully does does everybody understand what I'm trying to do? So as we pull a rookie card for each of these rookies, I'll be adding it to their stack. Okay. I'll probably penny sleeve it up at least and then put it in the stack for that rookie. And they're in alphabetic order. Alvarez, Aquino, Lux, and no, they're, I guess they ain't in order. I should have actually had Bobichet over here and Lux over here. But that's okay. I matched it up this way because they kind of pair up that way. I guess I didn't even realize that. I guess I, but that's okay. Neither here nor there. That's not important. But we got Alvarez, Aquino, Lux, and Bichette. So as we open up these packs and then these two boxes, we're going to see if we can pull some of their rookie cards. Um, Donald Blomdahl, I posted some suggestions on your community tab. Um, 
for your player biographies. Oh, okay. I'll check that out there, Hunter. Thanks for giving me a, a heads up. Okay, you don't have to keep spamming the same con content. Okay, H Hunter? I see it. Okay. Four times was three times too many. One would have been plenty, buddy. <laughs> but thanks for getting my attention. I would have saw it. Okay, or somebody would have uh, pointed it out to me. Okay. So, um, and then, of course, before that, you said, Hi, Donald Blumdahl. Hey, Hunter. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 Kendall Brown said, Hey, Hunter. He was acknowledging you were here. Okay. But, yeah. So, and, yeah, I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on the chat so you don't have to sometimes do things over and over. But at least you did get my... Oh, or or did you do it four times to cover each one that never mind <laughs> hunter i'm just glad you're here with us today uh we're down to five people but let's go ahead and start gripping and ripping some packs so these are a few of my packs i have from my uh, mariners team store that i got about a month ago when i went shopping one time with my wife so we're going to see who we can pull out of these cards and what type of things we can get out of here as we search for the Alvarez, Aquinos, Lux, and Bichette cards, okay? So I'll do my normal separations like I usually do. Put all my star players and stuff and rookies over here, except for when we get the four we're look the main four we're looking for. So JT Ralmuto, Zach Grinky, Taylor Rogers with the Twins, Alex Bregman with the Astros. I won't spend a lot of time because we've gone through and seen a lot of these cards already. Yeah. But Billy Hamilton with the Braves. Um, Hansel Robles with the Angels. Uh, Lurie Garcia with the White Sox. Nicky Lopez with the Kansas City Royals. There we go. Zach Collins with the Chicago White Sox. Matt Carpenter with the St. Louis Cardinals. Craig Kimbrell with the Chicago Cubs. Um, Milwaukee Brewers team card there. Here we go. Some of the subset cards that I'm trying to complete the sets on. And there's a Ralph Kiner. Ralph Kiner. That's that's a cool looking card. I like that one. Ralph Kiner. Old time Hall of Famer. Let's see. Let me scooch him over just a little bit there. Get him in the screen. And then scooch this over here. All right, so there we go. We've got a, a turkey card. That one there is uh, Tim Anderson with the White Sox. Put all my turkey cards over there. To, and then uh, Javier Baez and Chase Anderson. So no rookies in that pack. Just two. Uh, we got a decade's best, Ralph Kiner. And an Anderson with the Chicago White Sox turkey card all right but yeah usually hunter just so you do know i do get alerts when when different things get posted up to my page so you don't have to remind me on that stuff but i do appreciate you giving me a heads up okay all right pack number two out of these uh, 16 card packs here and then we'll get into the two blaster boxes so josh bell here um, Jonathan Villar, Robinson Cano with the Mets, Julio Theron with the Braves, um, Juan Soto with the Nationals, um, Kevin McCarthy with the Royals, um, Itomaro Vargas with the Arizona Diamond Pack. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting and more. All right. Uh, Lucas Gialo, Giol, Giolito with the White Sox. There we go. Zach Gallen with the Arizona Diamondbacks rookie card. Here we go. Now we got some rookies finally showing up. All right. Zach Wogsback with the Toronto Blue Jays. <clears throat> the Angels team card. There you can there you see Calhoun, Fletcher, Shoei Otani. All right. Hollywood Heroes for the Dodgers. 
there we go. We got the Nolan Arenado, Colorado Rockies, home run challenge card. Then we got the, the Nick Senzel. Isn't that Nick Senzel? Yep, Nick Senzel for our turkey card. Okay, and then Michael Pineda with the Minnesota Twins. <clears throat> so my goal is to try and see if we can get any of these guys to hit a home run. Right now, they've all hit a single. If you understand where I'm going there. And then, of course, if we get two cards of one of the players, then they're up to a double. We're trying to see if any of these rookies can hit a home run during this challenge. Okay, Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs. So no rookies yet in the first four packs here. Or first two out of four packs. Uh, Gallon is a great young pitcher. There you go. Kevin knows his Arizona Diamondbacks and does follow the San Diego Padres too. Luis Garcia with the Angels. Luis Garcia. All right. Austin Riley, future star with the Braves. All right. Trevor Richards with the Blue Jays, or the Tampa Bay Rays, I mean. Uh, Kenta Maeda with the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right. Jorge Alfaro with the Miami Marlins. Uh, Liam Hendricks with the Oakland Athletics. Soaking it all in. Uh, Yankees celebrate a Gliber home run. Juan Soto with the Nationals. All right. Yasmani Grandal with the Mi Milwaukee Brewers. Tyler Naquin with the Cleveland Indians. Lucas Giolito, Lucas Giolito with the Chicago White Sox. There's Zach Gallen again, second Zach Gallen there. So he's, even though we're not counting him, he's up to a double already. He's beating our, our superstar rookies here. Oh, there we go. Larry Doby, decades best card. And Nick Senzel. That's our second Nick Senzel there. For our turkey cards. Okay. Um, Sam Hilliard. Rookie card for the Colorado Rockies. And Enrique Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez. With the Los Angeles Dodgers. Alright. Three of our four. 16 card packs are done. In the books. Come on. We're still trying to get our first. Of our star rookies we're trying to find. Alright. So let's see. I think maybe what I might do with this home run challenge is... I don't know. I might carry it through the whole week. Leading up to what would have been opening day this coming Thursday. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes on, on day one here. Working towards our opening day. All right, so uh, John Gray with the Colorado Rockies. John Gray with the Colorado Rockies. Um, there we go with uh, Michael Brousseau with the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card. Tyler White with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Alberto Mondese with the Kansas City Royals. Jose Urena with the Miami Marlins. Randy Arazarina. With the St. Louis Cardinals rookie card. Eric Fed. With the Washington Nationals. Um, Wade Davis. With the Colorado Rockies. Joey Votto. With the Cincinnati Reds. Steven Matz. With the New York Mets. Uh, New York Mets team card. Uh, Minnesota Twins team card. Nick Pavetta with the Philadelphia Phillies. And then next we've got here, we've got a... Uh-oh, might have a double card coming up here. Um, uh, Springer. All right, George Springer. Turkey card number 100 for George Springer there. And Nelson Cruz. Nope. Oh, it was just the design there. I was thinking when I seen it like this, I was like, maybe that was a double card. It's just the design. 
the card design. <laughs> Nelson Cruz with the Minnesota Twins and Yoan Mankata. Mankata with the Chicago White Sox. So we did not find any of our star rookies there out of that one. So moving on now to our first blaster box. Okay, our first blaster box. Okay, I'm going to just throw the common cards off to the side here. And I'll, of course, check for, uh, in case there might be a super short print in there. Sometimes you can notice them, but sometimes you can't. And then, uh, let's see, I'll separate my rookies right there. And then our, what I call my subset cards right here. Of course, we got Larry Doby. We got Ralph Kiner. Two Hall of Famers there. We got the Home Run Challenge card, Nolan Arenado. Don't know for sure if I've got that one. Springer, Senzel, two Senzels, and an Anderson. Okay. So I will set these off to the side for now during the challenge just so we can continue on. So next, here we go. There. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with this box for now. I'm going to move this one over here just to give myself a little bit more room. We will open up that box next. Going to kind of move these off here. Just so we know where to add the extra rookies there. Put that stand there. We're going to open up our first blaster box in search for Alvarez, Aquino, Lux, and Bichette. Okay. And then at the end, we will see what we get for our rookie medallion patch card. Medallion cards. Our rookie medallion cards. Okay. Oh, there's our package of coupons. I'll put those with my other coupon stashes here. All right. So next, here we go. Moving into our packs for our blaster box here. Let me set this back up in the background here so we can know that we are opening this box off to the right here. We will put the rookie, rookie medallion card down here and do that last. Okay. And that, that way it gives us space here. Actually, here. I'll do it just like this so we can just put them all in one stack here. Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going to put them right there. Okay. So again, we've got the seven stacks plus the one exclusive rookie card retrospective rookie card card logo medallion card inside and we will do that last okay in each of the two blaster boxes but let's see anybody putting any guesses out there on who we might find um first out of our hunt for the the rookies any guesses out there? I know there's only four of us in here. Um, uh, Mar Marwin Gonzalez with the Twins. Uh, Melky Cabrera with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shohei Otane with the Angels. Buster Posey with the Giants. Well, there's a Bichette, just not the Bichette we're looking for. Like father, like son. That's Biggio and Bichette. Okay, there's our, Vig our, our Biggio from last year, Future Stars. All right, Yasmani Grandal with the Brewers. Um, Justin Verlander with the Houston Astros. Aristides Aquino, we got our first one, first one. All right. So that means Aristide, Aristides Aquino is a double now. So he's the only one that's progressed in our meter there. Aristides Aquino has gotten his double. He's hit 
he hit the double nil. So he was the first hit out of the first blaster box. Luis Garcia with the Angels. Oh, there we go. Mookie Betts. Decades Best Award winners for the 2010 era. Mookie Betts. All right. And then we've got uh, Means. Oh, John Means. I think that was one of the... No, that's not one of the turkey cards I'm looking for. But John Means with the Baltimore Orioles. Okay. And then we've got uh, Michael Pineda with the Twins. And Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs. So there we have it. We got our first hit. We got an Aquino. So now we got a double there. Four packs plus a bonus pack along with an extra pack followed by a pack of 13 cards with a bonus rookie card medallion card pack. Kevin's card collecting and more, you cease to amaze me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Who, do, who are we going to get next for our star rookies? Who's going to progress with Aquino past up to the double mark? Zach Fla Flaherty with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Brand Brand Brandon Drury with the Toronto Blue Jays. Eloy Jimenez, Gold Cup card, all right, for the White Sox. Um, T Tyler Naquin with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Joey, or Lucas Giolito with the Chicago White Sox. Um, Austin Riley with the Braves, future star. Trevor Richards with the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, no, no problem there, Aaron. Still, I'm still here just listening and sorting. We all do the sorting process, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, Kenta Maeda with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Mike Yastrzemski, future stars with the Giants. Oh, there we go. We got a Rice Hoskins subset card there. Snag at the bag. Never know, I might be able to complete a second set of my Rice Hoskins. I got my first... Set finished last week. There we go. Juan Soto. Home run challenge card. All right. Now we got a turkey card. Um, Jones. Adam Jones with the diamond back. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting and more there. All right. And then next we've got Jimenez. 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 Jim, did I say Jimenez? I should have known better. An MS. <laughs> Chase Anderson with the Brewers. And Christian Stewart with the Tigers. So only one. Aristide Zacchino is up to a double. Everybody else is at a single. Hopefully somebody in the background, if we start getting those hits, will keep track of things for me. You don't have to, but... Um, Isan Diaz with the Marlins, rookie card. Uh, Aradolis Chapman with the New York Yankees. Oh my word, is that our first Mariner? That's our first Mariner. Well, that's weird. How'd it get a dimple in there? A dimple. A dot must have dropped on the sheet when they were processing it. <laughs> or it might have been me sputtering. But Malik Smith with the CL Mariners. Diaz is one to watch. Which Diaz are you talking about? Edwin Diaz? There we go, Zach Gallion. That's the third one we've got from Zach there, there uh, Kevin. And then Jacob Wogspack with the Toronto Blue Jays rookie card. The Angels team card. Um, Hollywood Heroes, Dodgers, Outfielders, Celebrate a Victory. Uh, yeah, that was the third one. So, Gallon's up to a triple now. <laughs> uh, Carlos Rondon with uh, the Chicago White Sox. Hunter Refro Renfro with the San Diego Padres. Kyle Hendricks with the Chicago Cubs. Here we go. We've got a Mike Musina 
Mike Mussina with the Baltimore Orioles, 85 subset. Kyle Schwarberger. Is that Kyle? Kyle Schwarberger? Yep. Kyle Schwarberger with the Chicago Cubs. Turkey card. And then we got uh, Jose Yerquitty with the Houston Astros. And George Springer with the Houston Astros. All right. So moving down into pack number four. Halfway through the box here. But this one here. Who are you talking about? He is in your rookie card stack. Oh, e oh, Isan Diaz. Okay. I was going to say, Edwin Diaz. He's He was with the Mets, and he's definitely not a rookie. He's been around for a couple years. But we hated to see him leave. That's another day, another story. Uh, Jeff Summer Deja with the San Francisco Giants. There we go. Mauricio, Mauricio with the San Francisco Giants rookie card. Uh, Bryce Harper with the Phillies. Uh, Mike Chow, Mike, I think it might be Michael. Mike Chow. Mike Chow Givens with the Baltimore Orioles. Big air, big hair. Walk uh, uh, Brewers celebrate a home run. Austin Barnes with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Amir Garrett with the Cincinnati Reds. And then we got Gregory Polanco with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Raphael Devers with the Boston Red Sox. JT Realmuto with the Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah. Sam Hilliard with the Colorado Rockies rookie card. And that Johan Mankato. Yep, Johan Mankato with the Chicago uh, White Sox. Jake Rogers with the Detroit Tigers rookie card. And Whit Merrifield with the Royals. All right, pack number seven. Or seven. Pack number five of seven. Can you believe that? All these packs and only one Seattle Mariner so far. That's sad. That's the only thing I'm sad about today. All right. So Starlin Castro with the Marlins. Jordan Yamamoto, rookie card for the Marlins. Uh, Miles Mikolas with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Ed Eduardo... Rodriguez with the Boston Red Sox. Ryan Presley with the Houston Astros. Um, Trent Grisham with the Milwaukee Brewers rookie card. Zach Granke with the Houston Astros. Um, Taylor Rogers with the Minnesota Twins. Alex Bregman with the Houston Astros. Jeff Jeremy Jeffries with the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, there we go. Decades best pitchers. CC Sabathia with the Cleveland Indians from the 2000s. George Springer with the Houston Astros. Then we've got Sam Hilliard with the Colorado Rockies. And Enrique Hernandez with the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, pack number six out of seven. Pack number six out of seven. The Rangers only have one player card in the set here. Really? I did not even notice that. That doesn't surprise me, I guess, either. I guess the like, Rangers didn't have a good year last year either, huh? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. With the Toronto Blue Jays Gold Cup card. Tyler Bed Or Bede. Bede. San Francisco Giants. Cattell Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Kevin Scott collecting more on that one. Um, Kurt Suzuki with the Washington Nationals. The Los Angeles Dodgers team card. Christian Yelich with the Milwaukee Brewers. 
Carlos Santana with the Cleveland Indians. There we go. There's the Jordan Alvarez. Gold Cup card, rookie card. Can't say that there's too many rookies that have a Gold Cup card also. There we go. Jordan Alvarez is up to a double. So these, the first two are up to a double, and they're still on first base. Don't know if they'll hit a home run. Oh, we got a shiny card coming up here. Clayton Kershaw with the Los Angeles Dodgers. We got a shiny card coming up. All right. Um, Reese, Reese Hoskins with the Philadelphia Phillies. Freebies accepted. Oh, there we go. Nice shiny card for JT Riddle. JT Riddle with the Miami Marlins. That's a sh shiny card. That's a very uh, a variation card. But that gives me another one for my variation. One of these days, maybe I'll uh, sh highlight my shiny cards. Most likely one, one of these days. Hopefully I can try and... I'm trying to see how many out of the first 350 cards in this set. Uh, in Series 1, how many shiny cards I can get. So let me just set that one off to the side for now. Let's see here. I don't really have a place to display him, per se. Um, let's see. If I scooch this over just a hair, maybe I can get part of the shiny. Can you see? No, not really. There, that's the shiny card. You can kind of see the, the shine on it just a little bit there. But uh, Josh Hader, I think that's Josh Hader in it. Yep, Josh Hader turkey card. And then we've got the, the Michael Chavez uh, with the Red Sox, Future Stars, and Brian Anderson with the Miami Marlins. So, so far it looks like we got Aquino and Alvarez up to the double. That's who the two leaders are right now. So pack number seven before we get into the rookie medallion card and see who we got on that one. All right, so continuing on through here, we got Chris Paddock with the San Diego Padres, future star. Um, Jorge Polanco with the Minnesota Twins. Domingo Santana with the Seattle Mariners. Yay, I got two Seattle Mariners so far. <laughs> Evan Longoria with the San Francisco Giants. Um, Travis Dimitri coming out of the dugout for the Detroit Tigers rookie card. Johnny Cuto with the San Francisco Giants. Cleveland Indians team card. Uh... Ramon Loriano. Future Stars. Um, Cole Calhoun with the Angels. Jesus Luzardo with the Oakland Athletics rookie card. There we go. Ooh, Chipper Jones. Hall of Famer Chipper Jones for the 85 throwback card. That's a cool one. Chipper Jones. And then... Can't remember his first name. Gio Urshela with the New York Yankees turkey card. And then we've got Mike Mustakas with the Milwaukee Brewers. And Max Stassi with the California Angels. So there we go. That's all the base cards there. These are the not a the other rookie cards, future stars, gold cup cards, things of that nature. So, so far we've got the Alvarez is up to a double. The Aquino is up to a double. The Lux and Bichette are both at singles right now. These are the turkey cards we pulled. That's one of my shiny cards. Shiny cards. And then my subsets here. So without further ado, let's see who we get for our tops. One exclusive rookie card, retrospective rookie card, logo, medallion card inside. And the winner is... Okay. 
Okay. Let me just take a peek here quick. Oh. Let's see. Going to have to do the reveal this way because it's this type of card coming up. All right. Don't know for sure if I've got it the, the right way or not. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay. We're going to do the reveal here. Looks like it might be a an older Pittsburgh Pirate. Anybody in the chat yet? I'm calling Clemente. Mm -hmm. Who called Clemente? Kendall Brown. Rookie card medallion for Roberto Clemente. And boom. Kendall called it. Roberto Clemente. Let me get his. Just. I'm going to just put these in a penny sleeve for now and get them in top loaders later. I don't have... Well, let's see. I do have a top loader here. It's probably a, a larger top loader than I need, yeah. But I will transfer it into a little bit thinner one where it'll fit much more snug. But there we go. A Roberto Clemente. I believe I have Roberto Clemente. Let me check my checklist real quick here. And if not, I will have added a Roberto Clemente. Yep, I do have a Roberto Clemente, but so that's my second one for now. I do have my checklist right here, in case you guys are wondering. You can see a Roberto Clemente right there. And I do have it marked off on my checklist there. You can see the ones I do have. And then my different markings for doubles, triples, different things. I called it even before you showed it was a pirate. That's cool, Kendall. That is cool. So let me just set that off to the side there right now. So I will throw that off to the side here. Let's see. Oh, you can't really see them there either. I'll put him right there. I can't really set him. How about if I put him right here? Or here. I'll put him right here for now until we get the next hit. You can kind of see Roberto Clemente hiding in the background there. I'm going to set that card off to the side. My shiny card. These are my insert cards. Insert in turkeys, right? Yep. Okay, go, I'm going to just clear these off and put these off to the side here. Along with my Mariners. My Rookie cards. And my Base cards. Okay, and we will get into Kevin Says He'll Be Right Back. Alright, Kevin. Alright, so now we will get into our second and final of this video, this live stream, would be the second blaster box. And at the end, we will do the reveal to see who we get for our rookie medallion card. So without further ado and without pause, so, so far, um, we've got our Alvarez, sorry, our Alvarez and Aquino are both up to a double got two two of their cards of course they all started out with singles because the set is four goes in line with our set here and then um of course gavin lux and boba are both sitting at singles so we might just keep this this challenge rolling through the week because um we will have more 2020 tops that we'll be opening um, not only today or today we're gonna this is we're gonna finish up but then tomorrow will be a second round and then of course the third round will be opening day baseball okay so on Thursday the 26th of March which would have been the regularly scheduled opening day for most teams most teams not all but most we are going to see if we can find of course some opening day uh, baseball 
blue inserts from the opening day product because that has the highlights and the short prints for the opening day which will be even worth more i think later down the road so we do have our one exclusive rookie card respective rookie card logo medallion card inside and then the seven packs of baseball cards we're going to set these off right here so again we're looking for alvarez aquinos lux and bichette's so so far lux and bichette are both on first base and we did get our roberto clemente rookie card medallion doubles are okay so we will see who we get out of the second one here and then finish up our challenge for today all right so let's get into pack number one here see if we can find some more hits oh we did get a a good player on the back it looks like we might have a shiny card in this one so Merrill Kelly with the Arizona Diamondbacks leads off the the second Topps 2020 Baseball Series 1 Blaster Box. Okay. Again, that's Arizona Diamondbacks. Mike Clevenger with the Indians. Oops, sorry about that. I was off center. Somebody going to yell at me? Nope, nobody yelled at me yet. I corrected it before they could yell at me. Um, so Mike Clevenger with the Indians, Billy Hamilton with the Braves, Hansel Robles with the Angels, Tommy Pham with the Tampa Bay Rays, Anthony Rendon, league leader for the Washington Nationals, um, Andrew Chafin with the Diamondbacks, uh, Tyler White with the Dodgers, uh, Dustin May, rookie card for the Dodgers, um, Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. Ooh, that is awesome. I don't believe I got one. And it's a gold cup to boot. It's a gold cup to boot. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. gold cup. Shiny card. Shiny card. Boom. I like Kendall says that. Boom. Got the shiny card, the variation from the base set. So not only a gold cup card, but it's Vladimir Vlad, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold cup card. I'm just going to kind of set him up there for now. Okay. So, and then we got uh, Sanchez. This is our turkey card. We'll get a stack of turkey cards here. Gary Sanchez with the Yankees. All right going to cover up Roberto Clemente there but you can kind of see him lurking in the background there you can see him where my fingers pointing down there all right so Luke Voigt with the Yankees and Mike Trout with the Angels and I think it started raining outside I can hear it it's supposed to rain all week here in case you're in a sunny area get to hear the rain drop on the house Kevin said, what was the boom? The Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold Cup. But it's not only the Gold Cup there, Kevin. It's the, the shiny card. It's the rainbow version. The rainbow foil version. Just wanted to kind of show you that right there. It just started raining here. All right. Actually, let me get this into a penny sleeve real quick here. Get my fingerprint all over it and stuff. Let me put Vladdy into a penny sleeve here to put that in with my uh, my shiny collection. Trying to see how many of the first 350 cards that I can get in this set. Um, so yeah, that's what it was there, Kevin. Exactly. That's that's the first one I got of the Vla the Vladimir Guerrero. Not not Vladdy Daddies. The Vladdy Juniors uh, Gold Cup cards with in the foil in the foil type short print um Lurie garcia with the chicago white Sox. all right uh nikki lopez with the royals sean doolittle with the washington nationals jorge solar with the kansas city royals league leader card 
World Series highlight for Anthony Rendon. All right, and then we've got the, the Nico Horner with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. Uh, Justin Turner with the Dodgers. Uh, Oscar Mercado with the Cleveland Indians. Um, Garrett Cooper with the Miami Marlins. Rice Hoskins with the franchise feet. Rice Hoskins. Oh, there we go. Um, 2010's Decades Best Award winner, Shohei Otani. I don't know if I've seen that one yet. Decades Best. Decades Best, number 92. No, I guess I got those. I think so. Wait, no, Decades Best. Yeah, I need... The only Decades Best ones are less than 76. Oh, no, no. 84, I'm sorry. So, yeah, I do have that one. Put that over there with that separation. Uh, Max Kepler. Pretty sure that's a Max Kepler, right? Yep, Max Kepler with Minnesota turkey card. And then uh, Brandon Woodruff with the Milwaukee Brewers. And last but not least, Nelson Cruz with the Minnesota Twins. All right, moving into the next pack here. All right. Next is uh, Brandon Belt with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Pete Alonzo, league leader card with the New York Mets. Don't even think to look sometimes, but I don't know if that's a thicker card or just the way it looks. Um, we'll see when we get there. King Giles with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Steven Strasburg, league leaders card. Oh no, what happened? We got another Mariner. Mitch Hanniger with, with the Seattle Mariners. How'd that Seattle Mariner sneak in those packs? Juan Soto with the, a World Series highlight card. Uh, Tim Anderson with the league leaders card. Uh, Brad Hand with the Cleveland Indians. Um... Agrizal, Odario Agrizal, Pittsburgh Pirates, rookie card. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Um, Raciel Iglesias with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, home run derby card. That's what was the odd looking one. Vladimir Guerrero, home run challenge card. Two Mariners. Hot pack. Oh, that was the last, yeah, earlier in the last box, I, I pulled two full Mariners. As a matter of fact, that's all I've got all morning so far. It's just two Mariners. Well, now we got three with Mitch Hanniger. Alex Bregman with the Houston Astros turkey card. And then Yoan Moncado with the Chicago White Sox. And last but not least, Fran Mill Reyes with the Cleveland Indians. All right, pack number four in the blaster box. I guess your church hasn't flooded three times like mine has. Uh, no, we don't get much flooding here. Plus, we're uh, our church is at a higher altitude, so we're not there. Our church isn't in a low lying area. If our church was flooded out, um, our part of Washington would be in deep water. <laughs> That's for sure. And my neighborhood where I live, I am probably. Uh, Closer to five or six hundred above sea level, so if we got flooded out here, we'd be having some major problems. <laughs> um, Tyler Glasnow with the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh my word, a Yusei Kikuchi. A Yusei Kikuchi. That gives us four Mariners out of the card so far this morning. Uh, Mike Soroka with the Atlanta Braves Gold Cup card. All right. Uh, Adam Frazier with the Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Jose Abreu, league leader card. Gliber Torres with the New York Yankees. Garrett Cole with the Houston Astros, league leader card. All right. Then we've got Anthony Rendon with the Washington Nationals. Albert Almora with the Chicago Cubs. Uh-oh. 
Josh Bell with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs again. And we got a Miguel Cabrera with the Detroit Tigers. 1985 throwback. Chris Bryant with the Chicago Cubs. Turkey card. David Dahl with the Colorado Rockies. And Al Albert Adbert Alzole with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. All right, pack number five out of seven. Fiber, my boy. <laughs> anyway, I still got only four people in the chat, but that's fine. Still allows me to get my content up and throw real good keywords in there to try and get views on my video. That's another thing you have to do on your channel. Um, but there we go. Uh, Tommy Edmond with the Cardinals, Future Stars. Um, Josh Fegley with the Oakland Athletics. Uh, Blake Parker with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Caleb Smith with the Miami Marlins. Max Scherzer with the World Series highlight card. Um, Emilio Pagan with the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, Jonathan Villar with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Robinson Cano with the New York Mets. Julio Terran with the Atlanta Braves. DJ LeMayhew with the New York Yankees. Oh, there we go. We got a die cut card. Babe Ruth. Got the Babe Ruth tie cob with the OPS of 1920s. OPS Plus, 1920s. I don't know for sure if I've got that. No, I don't. But I do now. I now have... That gives me an additional new die cut card that I don't currently have. Um, Martinez. Martinez. J.D. Martinez with the Boston Red Sox. Then we've got Yur Yuli Guriel with the Houston Astros. And last but not least, Michael Baez with the San Diego Padres rookie card. <laughs> Maybe God's baptizing the whole church in one shot. <laughs> that's that's kind of cu cute there, Kendall. Or Kevin, Kevin Kirk. <laughs> pack number six out of seven in this hobby box before we get ready to wrap things up here today again hopefully you guys are staying safe our our state just went last night into a shelter in place but of course i'm sheltering in place i mean it was nice sunday and monday to have my daughter home with us for two full days um actually saturday sunday and monday she was off she went back to work today I believe today and tomorrow, and then she has the rest of the week off. She's trying to figure out what's going on there. She's supposed to find out more information today. But And then my wife went to work because the Navy Hotel where she works is still open for business. Although everything that's non-essential businesses in Washington have shut down now. So three card collectors, how are you doing? Thanks for jumping in here, Caleb. All right, so uh, Shane Green with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Jose Martinez with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Randall Grichuk with the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, we got a Justin Verlander league leader card. Oh, wrong stack there, blown off. That's because of where, that's where, I, but because I got the pack sitting there, that's why it's kind of uh, looking that way there. Uh, Brock Holt with the with the Boston Red Sox. Um, Trevor Bauer with the Cincinnati Reds. There we go. Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Is he card number one in this set? No, card number seven. Well, I can't remember who card number one is for sure. Aaron Judge, though, with the New York Yankees. Um, Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers. Ryan Braun with the Milwaukee Brewers. There's the Rice Hoskins uh, subset. Oh, there we go. We got the, uh, oh, Mike Soroka with the Decades Next, the DN series. And what number is he? 
30. Decades, decades nest, next 30. So, no, I do not have that one yet. No, I do. I guess there are 30 cards in the, the decades next set. I had only up through... Um, 26 so I didn't know for sure how high it went so it looks like it does go up to 30 so at least I can adjust my checklist that way on that one um, Ronald Acuna Jr. with the Atlanta Braves turkey card and then Roberto Asuna with the Astros and Josh Rojas with the Arizona Diamondbacks rookie card now we're going into packs number seven uh, let's see. Frank's Card Corner, Laugh Out Loud, wrote the name down. Uh, three card, I like your trade offer, but I'm, I might need a while before I can get to it. Okay. So let's go into pack number seven, and then we'll have our final pack for today's stream to open up the, the rookie card, medallion cards. So... Still have not found a second Lux or a second Bichette. So, so far this week, Alvarez is ahead. He's on second base. Aquino's on second base. We want to try and see who can hit the home run first this week. Since it's supposed to be opening day week. Come this Thursday. All right, so Carson Kelly with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Christian Yelich with the Brewers. League leader card. Paul Goldschmidt with the Cardinals. Oh my word, we got another Seattle Mariner. How'd that happen? How did that happen? J.P. Crawford with the Seattle Mariners. So out of all the cards I opened up so far, getting close to 262 cards, uh, I only got five Mariner cards. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I know there's not that many in, in Series 1. They'll put usually put more in there. I was watching some antique roadshow last night. Some woman had a mantle rookie with a uh, worth thirty grand. She had no idea. <laughs> oh my word! C.J. Crone with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Aaron Nola with the Philadelphia Phillies. Willie Adamas with the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, Han Hanser Alberto with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Michael Comforto with the New York Mets. Um, Anthony Rizzo with the Chicago Cubs. There we go. Shohei Otani with the Top Snell cards. Which Top Snell is this one again? This is number five. Let's see. Top Snell. Can't remember which one. There's only that. I don't think I, I got to make that list up here. The tops now. I thought I listed everything. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. I, I just need card number two. So I do have that one. I, I'm just missing top, uh, that for the tops now reprints. It's a 10 card set. I'm only missing card number two. And then for uh, Anderson is our rookie there. Brian Anderson with the, the Miami Marlins is our turkey card. And then Tommy Listella with the California Angels. And last but not least is Sean Murphy with the Oakland Athletics. Sean Murphy with the Oakland Athletics rookie card. And that rounds up our box there, except for our one last pack we got to open up here. So in case those that are tuning in late, we did pick up in the first box here the Roberto Clemente rookie medallion card so we'll leave that sit right there and now we'll open up the last one here we'll open up this last rookie medallion card here and see who we can pull out of this one drum roll please okay oh my word Oh my word. Okay. So here we go. Any guesses before I reveal any there? 
Oh, oh, Frank's card corner. Yeah, Roberto Clemente is the nice rookie rookie medallion card. That's the second one I have of that one now. Um, Kevin says Gibson. Gibson. I already know, so I'm just seeing who might come close to choosing which one. Maybe not new. Maybe not. New pickup. Laugh out loud. All right. So let's go here. Okay. Let's see. We got the side of the card there. I'm going to go pretty slow down this one. See if anybody can guess who this might be. I kind of cheated. I looked, but I'm revealing it for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to do it ever so slowly. Any ideals yet? Frank's Card Corner. Got it. Correct. It's the Cal Ripken Jr. Woohoo! That's a hit for me. That's big time. Big time hit for me. Let me set Cal right there for now and get this. This is a thicker top loader. Let me get the the slight. I, I didn't know there was two different slight sizes of penny sleeves. The little bigger penny sleeve that I get in the mail sometimes from people. I use those to to put these type cards in there. And then uh, I do have a top loader I can put this in for now. It's a little bit thicker than the normal ones I would use. But there we go. A, the Cal Ripken Jr. I think it's just because it's at an angle or something. Maybe that's why it won't. Let me see if I can get that to stay up there. Ah, just I should have left it the way I had it sitting. Ah, it's knocking everything else down. Boy, Ripken, you're, you you got some weight to you. You're messing up my whole table now. <laughs> here, I'm going to hold it here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I do have a Cal Ripken Jr. Where's my Ripken Jr. at? Oh, no, that's the one I do need. That's the one I do need. I do need a Cal Ripken Jr. And now I have it. You can see down here, I was in need. I, I, I mistakenly marked a Cal Ripken Jr. I thought in the wrong spot. So that is that gives me a a, a another rookie medallion card that I don't have. So now I have both my Ken Griffey Jr. and Cal Ripken Jr. rookie medallions but I am trying to complete the whole set. Kevin take the Clutterbuck card to the next card show and see if he is sitting next to Corey Snyder and charging $20 for an auto. <laughs> Alright. So let's see. Let me set that one right there. How's that sound? I'll put Cal Ripken over here to end the stream here. Along with the Roberto Clemente in front. Right up front there. So now that kind of blocks everything off there. Alright. Straighten these up just a little bit. So I can straighten my stacks out. But of course the Bobachette was cool to get. Let me see if I can straighten these out to get Boba Shett to kind of sandwich in there between Lux and Aquino. How's that sound? And then these are the, the rookies I got out of the second blaster box here. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to close up our video here. I did go uh, almost an hour and 40 minutes. Not bad for just uh, four... Four short biographies, and then opening up the Coliseum week. That's what I'm labeling this week. The, the Blomdahl Coliseum was open today. We opened up two blaster boxes and four packs of cards that I had lined up here at the beginning of the stream. Tomorrow we will have another Coliseum set up. I'm trying to think. Uh, tomorrow might be an oddball type. I haven't fully decided yet. But I do have... Um, Probably because it's in the middle of my two big Coliseum days, which was today. And then the opening day Coliseum will be on Thursday. 
since that was the originally scheduled Coliseum Day. Congrats on that rip and Jr. Donald. Yep. So Donald Blomdahl Jr. and Cal Ripken Jr. and Ken Griffey Jr. It's the junior week. <laughs> no. Just throwing it in there. Just trying to interject some cum some some humor with the, the junior part. I got the you got the junior sandwich between Ripken and Donald. Or it should be Blomdahl. The Ripken and Blomdahl Jr. collection. <laughs> but anywho. So we did have fun this morning. I'm glad to have uh, those that popped in on board with us today. We're up to like six people right now. Going to get ready to, to finish things off for today. Good breaks today, Don. Thanks. Tomorrow we'll get we'll kick off our, our three-day event with another, uh, another Coliseum event. Um, I haven't decided if I really want to do some, some throwback or not tomorrow. Just to kind of mix it up with the the 2020 Series 1. Thursday will be the the 2020 Opening Day Series. Um, thanks there, Aaron. Nice, nice polls, Don. So other than that, I've got some cards to sort, some organizing to do, some items to mark off my checklists. So um, Kevin's card collecting and more. Are you doing a live stream today? Um, I'll let Kevin answer that question because I can't remember for sure what I know he does. Let's see. I think he does a Tuesday and a Friday and a Sunday for his live streams. Yes, in four hours. Okay, four o'clock. Four o'clock there, Hunter. Right about four o'clock, Kevin will be live for his live stream. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this today, but we will probably, uh, I'll probably do some 2020 product. I'm just trying to think of what it, we might have another, uh, just two blaster boxes come up. I might do two more blaster boxes for 2020 of the 2020 series one for tomorrow's opening and, uh, might do some more packs. I haven't fully decided yet, but we'll see. I'll schedule it up a little bit later today. I'll post up what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So that way you do have... So in the title, I can't list everything I want to put in here. So if you do go back and go into the video later, you'll see in the description of the video where I do talk more of what um, the sneak preview is uh, for this upcoming week. So if you do have a chance to look into that, that would be awesome. But without further ado... Um, I can't think of anything else to mention per se in my video today, but what I'd like to do is just, uh, oh, don't forget to give me my thumbs up, thumbs up, please. I forgot to have people ask, mention that to people. Um, are, am I doing my 1983 tops tomorrow? Yes, I will be Hunter. Tomorrow is 1983 tops baseball, uh, set history. And then after that, we'll be having the, the Coliseum will be opening. For more, uh, trying to find, again, the Jordan Alvarez, Alvarez's, the, the Aristide Zacchino, the Gavin Lux, and the Beau Bichette. So far, these, the, the Alvarez and the Aquinos are both up to doubles. I, I've, I found one new rookie card for each of them. Again, when we started the stream, they all started out with a single. So these two are up to doubles so far. The Lux and the Bichette are still on first base. These guys are on second base. We're trying to see who can make it to home plate first. So between today and tomorrow and Thursday. And if we have to continue on, we'll go into Friday if we need be. But we'll just play it one day at a time. But I'm planning on at least a three-day event for this this portion just to add some fun and excitement into the continuing videos through the live streams but i'm going to go ahead and get ready to wrap things up here we do have um about a minute to go and then i want to end the stream but let me turn the camera around real quick so i can say my proper goodbye to you guys like i usually do let me uh turn turn this around you can see me in the background I'm here. So yes, tomorrow we'll, we will be doing our 1983 Tops Baseball. Okay. Uh, 
uh, video series for the top 1983 top set. And then that means next week, not this week, but next week, we'll be doing an awesome different type video stream for the 1984 baseball card set. I'll just give you a slight heads up with that. I will be highlighting the complete original 1984 baseball card set in that stream. So that will be really fun and really interesting. It'll be a little bit different than what we've been doing for the whole set. But I just kind of wanted to do that as an added uh, content for the commemoration of the 1984 baseball card set. That is my oldest complete baseball card set that I do own in my collection. I do have other sets for the newer 2000, in the 2000 era, but that is my only complete. I do have a few older top sets too, but I don't know if we'll get into that in the book series that I'm working on for the top history of the baseball card sets, but we will be doing that tomorrow. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and do my sign off for today. Thank you everybody for being here for, for this, uh, kickoff for the opening day um, Coliseum series that I'm doing this week, okay? So we'll leave it at that, and we will continue tomorrow with our four um, up-and-coming hot rookies, Alvarez, Aquino, Lux, and Bichette. So until then, till tomorrow when we continue with all our content on the channel, have a great and wonderful day. Stay safe, and everybody... Pray for our country during this time, okay? Bye for now. Take care. Have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you around the channels. Bye.